Swiss Meringue Buttercream Frosting Kate chose the elephant cake for my handy cakes for kids book for her birthday. In all honesty, I believe the color of the cake was the primary factor in her decision. It was a simple and adorable design, therefore I was pleased to comply. And to round it off, I could bake cupcakes for all the kids and top them with circus peanuts, see photo near the end of this post. The cake and cupcakes were well liked. Kate's elephant cake tasted much better than Anna's ghostly cake, as I said on Sunday. And not simply because the chocolate cake will always be superior to angel food cake. But the elephant cake's frosting is out of this world. Due to its ease of handling and suitability for producing texture on the elephant's skin, the book advised icing the cake with a shortening-based recipe. However, hello? Shortening? Black. I immediately grabbed up the phone and dialed my dear friend and resident pastry chef, Faye. She advised that I prepare a Swiss meringue buttercream, which would likewise be simple to work with and have the extra advantage of tasting like food. I'm not making this up. The creamiest, smoothest, and most delicious frosting I've ever prepared is Swiss meringue buttercream. Even normally, I don't like it all that much for icing. I enjoy this material. And sure enough, I could gently press a sieve into the icing surface to give it the adorable texture that every gorgeous pink elephant wishes it had. Ingredients 4 egg whites 1 sugar cup 15 to 20 ounces of room temperature American-style butter, the kind you typically buy at the grocery. A single vanilla bean. Instructions In a KitchenAid bowl, mix the sugar and egg whites. Set in front of a pot of simmering water. Until the temperature reaches 165 degrees, vigorously whisk, which actually happened faster than I was expecting. The sugar will have dissolved and the mixture will be glossy. Place on the mixer after taking off the heat. Whisk at a high speed until a meringue forms with firm peaks using the whisk attachment. When the mixture reaches room temperature and the bowl is cold enough to touch, stop whisking. Breaking off bits of butter and adding them while whisking at a medium-high speed, combining after each addition. Even though I assured you it will work, like I did with Faye, the mixture will remain extremely soupy and you'll start to be ready to grab your phone to contact me to find out what's wrong. However, if you simply keep whisking and whisking, eventually all of the sudden will be correct. It abruptly transforms into a delicious, creamy frosting. I used 12 ounces of butter the second time, the first time, I used around 15 ounces overall. Add your vanilla and any food coloring until it begins to resemble real frosting and stir again for a few minutes. Frosting leftovers can be saved for later use. If you wish to remix frosting in the mixer after it has been chilled or frozen, use the paddle attachment rather than the whisk attachment.